fans left their beleaguered chairman in no doubt about his performance. Hundreds of angry supporters delving in to do their bit against Peter Swales. They want former star player Francis Lee to take the helm. It's still unclear how many bids have been made for the club. One definite though, and Swales has revealed he held secret talks with the mystery bidder last night. Today, the fans at least gave Swales a permanent send-off. No, I mean, you can listen to the fans, that's all they saying. They want the team to win, they want Swales out. We've played well, uh, a lot better than we have been doing. Yeah, but Swales has got to go. Well, I think Swales should go, we've had him long enough. 20 years, we've got no results. The protest was peaceful and good-natured, but the boardroom boys under siege this afternoon will find it hard to ignore the supporters. After 20 very unsuccessful years, during which no trophy has been won, and my 18-year-old son has yet to see his team win anything, we hope that they will hand the club over to Francis Lee and to nobody else. We want Francis Lee to yeah. take over. Yeah, that's right. As fans anxiously await more news of the bids, Peter Swales may have a restless night, knowing not even God was on his side today. Ian Leckie, Sky News, Manchester. Now the tables, Manchester United, they stay top of the Premiership on goal difference from Arsenal. Coventry up to third after their draw at Villa. Coventry now the only unbeaten side in the Premiership and fourth place Liverpool who take on Newcastle on Monday night. Scotland, Motherwell's victory over Hearts keeps them a point clear of Dundee United.